Welcome to PodCamp Pittsburgh 6, everybody, is uh, in Podcasting 101. Is anybody from out of town? Everybody's a Pittsburgh? Okay, well, great. I appreciate you guys coming to our session. My name is Hutch Bailey, and uh, I have a couple different podcasts, uh, and I have two of the best co-hosts in the business. This is Ward. I know. And Shell. Hi. Uh... What we're going to do today, I'm going to try and uh, give you what you need to start your own podcast. Or if you already have one, uh, maybe we'll give you a few tips. Uh, I'm Berg's Eye View on Twitter. And just a disclaimer, I'm not a social media expert or a technical expert. I'm just a relatively successful podcaster. Uh, I've had a show, I've had Berg's Eye View for next month, it'll be five years. And uh, you have a few shows? I have quite a few shows. Most of mine are video. Uh, and I'll be doing a video podcast in one one tomorrow. So we can talk about that. A couple questions before we get started. How, how many people have never downloaded or listened to a podcast? Do you plan on starting? Is that what you're interested yeah. in? Or Good. Uh, does anybody have their own podcast? Sure. What's your sh- deal? What's your uh, show uh, called? 500 Stories. Friends on Blades, a game design podcast. Good deal. Has anybody ever listened to Berg's Eye View? How about Steel City Resistance? Here, let's look at these guys. Come on in. Yep. That's it. For you guys that are just coming in, my name is Hutch. This is Ward and Shell, a couple of my co hosts. I have two shows Berg's Eye View and Steel City Resistance. Ward and I do Steel City Resistance, and Shell and I do Berg's Eye View. Ward has some shows you're not doing anymore, but they're still out there Restaurant Food (laughs) Fast and Max in Life. Max in Life. Yeah, both of those are video shows. Uh, and the average Joe show is still out there. That's still out there, but that's that's done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my show, Berg's Eye View, is all about Pittsburgh and Yenzer culture, and it's pretty much a comedy show. Uh, it started out uh, when my son was in high school. It started out with just a tool for us to bond a little bit, if you will. Uh, so it started chronicling his high school football career. And he's since grown up, and he's a senior in college now, so he doesn't get on the show as much anymore. Uh, we've got like 128 episodes, and he was instrumental in probably the first 50 or so. Uh, what happened was, after he got out of high school, he, when you're a kid that age, you don't want to go hang out with your dad as much anymore. Uh, so Shell, I met Shell, and the thing is, is... I said the show's been going for five years. It's kind of tough to do that. I'm in the Army. And in 2007, I got orders to go to Iraq. And I had to decide, am I going to quit the show? It was only one year old or not. So I decided to take the show with me. So episodes like 19 to 40 are shows that I recorded either in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, or in Iraq, or home on leave, but it was during that time frame. And incidentally, when I came back, I had blown off PodCamp Pittsburgh 1. Two, I was in Iraq. Well, when I came back, they held PodCamp Pittsburgh 3. My show was on decline. It was getting less and less listeners. I came to PodCamp Pittsburgh 3, got introduced to Twitter. Is anybody here not on Twitter? Everybody's on Twitter? Twitter basically... You get breathe new life into my show, and and believe it or not, PodCamp. You guys can uh, see if this affected you, but PodCamp kind of changed my life. Yes, sir. How did you use Twitter to promo your show? Well, first I had to get enough followers that it would matter. Uh-huh, so that and, was number one, getting the followers. Yeah, and with PodCamp, the main, the prime. I had never heard of Twitter before mm-hmm. PodCamp Pittsburgh three. Right. But it was the primary means of communication. For the podcast, so you almost had to get on there to see what was going on. Right. I did that, 
and consequently met at least 50 new friends that I still have that come to my house and I go to their house and we go out together. So it's not just an electronic thing, but I will say that it changed my show. My right. audience got much bigger. Do you do it right from your house or how do you? I do. And, right from your house. And I'll get into that yeah. uh, as we go here. Feel free to ask questions anytime you want, by the way. Yeah, because I'm, I'm more interested in the how, how to do it. Okay, we're gonna we're definitely going to so cover that. Yeah. And like I said, I, I've met at least 50 new friends, uh, started a WordPress blog to support my show, and uh, I'll pass it over to you, Ward, for any comments before we get started? Or The, the key that, that I found with uh, doing podcasts and shows and whatnot is... Put your name out there. Uh, like I said, WordPress blogs, Facebook, Twitter, you name the social media, get your name on it. Get some kind of a recognition. You know, when you come in, into this and you think, you know, I, I've heard a podcast before and Leo Laporte's really famous for it. He makes millions of dollars. If that's your goal, you might be in the wrong room. Yeah. Because this medium is great. It gives you a voice you can say whatever you believe you can do whatever you feel like doing and there's going to be somebody out there that digs it and that's the key do something that, that somebody's going to check out and, and get into you know like people who like cheese i'm going to do a cheese podcast so i'm sure that nobody in this room really cares about cheese but one person might mm -hmm. I, there we go. <laughs> I got a new video for my show. And I guarantee you, if you go on Google and Google Cheese Podcast, the pages will fill up. They're out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, like they were saying in the Hub this morning, that the idea behind it is get what you like to do. Get what you can talk about. And you can have a passion for it. And talk about it. You know, on a, on a podcast, on an audio podcast or a video podcast. If Video is even better because you can show stuff. But we're going to just talk about audio today. I was hoping maybe if... So I'm really um, hoping to get into, like, blogging and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, so I was hoping maybe if you guys... If there's anything that is, like, relative to um, video stuff... There's one well, we're small gonna touch, segment we're gonna touch on it. I'm going to have a whole, have a whole session tomorrow oh, on, video. on video. Which we're... Um, up in, I'm in this room. You're in this Tomorrow room? Tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good show. Great. Any other questions? All right. Okay, there's the goal. I want to familiarize uh, you guys with the basic requirements needed to produce and sustain an audio or video podcast. That's what we're here for. <laughs> what is a podcast and where can I find it? A podcast is basically an MP3 file or any other type of file uh, where you record audio or video, MP4 or the, the various different types of files, and you have to you produce the file and then you put it on the internet. The places you can get podcasts are on iTunes. All of my shows are on iTunes. Podcast, Pitbull, Blueberry. You can do a Google search, like I said, for cheese. If you have a a podcast or an area of interest and you'd like to see it in the <laughs> podcast form, it's very easy uh, to find them. You know, the other thing, too, is you um, can also host the podcast on your on your server. Uh, if you have a, your own server or whatever, you can put it there. There's nothing that says you have to put it in iTunes. That's if you have a website. If you have your own website yeah. and you can upload audio to yes. it, you can put it on your website. You can put it on your website. The only thing about that is, is they have the distribution down. Right. If you put it out there, there's hundreds of thousands of people that go to these uh, podcast sites. That I can't remember the name of them. Uh, uh, aggregators. Aggregators. Mm -hmm. And you can search right on their site. Could you real quickly give us how you make the decision, which one of those guys to put it on? Mine's on all of them. You can put it on, put it on all They're all free. Is there anyone that's... Give us an idea. Give me an idea of... iTunes ends up being better iTunes just the because biggest. it's the biggest. Uh -huh. um, you can... Basically, put Libsyn, uh, Blueberry, yeah. mm -hmm. or those are local uh, companies that are worldwide gotcha. as far as distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's ways to do it for free, and there's ways. Most places you have to pay for it. 
it's not much. I mean, it all depends on how big your file is. And how big your, your audience becomes. Right. You know, you, you end up paying for bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So if you make a, you know, 200 meg MP3 file and you're paying for bandwidth and you put it on your website, right. you can run out of bandwidth real quick. Yeah. Whereas if you, if you get them distributed that through something like that, you don't pay anything. You pay for the space that your file takes up. For 250 megabytes, megabytes a month, I pay $15. My shows are normally around 40 to 60 megabytes, so there's a month, month and a half worth of shows on the on there all the time. They stay on there. Once they archive them, you can still go and get one of my shows from 2006 and listen to it. It's still there, uh, but it goes by the month, so many megabytes per month. Oh, hold, go back one. I don't do that. Right, I did. Uh, no. Before, if you are really interested in creating a podcast... Please go out there and listen or watch to some existing shows just to get a feel for it. Okay. Well, and that goes to, to just to see the format. See if, the, if, if there's a particular format that you gravitate towards that you like, whether you like the person, a single person, or you want to have a show where you have two, two or more people talking. Uh, we, uh, I particularly like the interaction. Mm -hmm. So most of my shows have more than one person on them. Mm -hmm. But you may gravitate towards whatever your uh, your, your cheese uh, podcast. You may be the only one who, that you know of that's interested in it. So you're going to do the show alone. That's, you know, go ahead. Do you ever, does anybody do anything with the animation? Sure, sure. Um, there's one called... Uh, Oh, uh, there's there's a couple. Of them. I, I can't I can't remember the name of it. Again, if you go, uh, uh, Fummy the Squirrel. Fummy the Squirrel is an animation one that's that you can go with. That's an interest I have. Yeah. In, in converting people's stuff into animation stuff. Mm -hmm. You can definitely do that. Some of the other ways to get shows are once you find a show, normally they'll have an RSS feed on their site that you can subscribe to, and every time any content is put there, it'll automatically come to your computer. Uh, Google Reader is almost the same. Go to the show's podcast. Like, if you want to watch one of our shows, mm -hmm. go to one of the websites, and because usually there's more than the show on the website. You know, we have a show, we have a political show, but there's also numerous news feeds in there and a whole lot of other things. Uh, so that's just, you can get a feel for what you're going to listen to by going to their website. Plus, comment because people our, well, ego, that, our egos get hurt yeah, that, that goes back to what i said before about getting your show out there ha, don't just say well i'm going to do a podcast and that's going to be it give it you know build around it so you have your your podcast may be the heart of what you want to do yes. but then you want to give it a body of you know other things that twitter that, facebook you gotta yeah. promote it yeah that, that promote it and plus if you have a site that they can that your followers can find other Information, so you have links to other stories that are related to what you were talking about. The most important thing about podcasting is first you got to decide what it's going to be about. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. And as Ward said, if you're breaking into this expecting to make money, it's probably not going to happen. I'm not saying you can't. There's people that do. But I've been in business for five years, and I just deposited our first $26. Yeah. From, uh, hey, all from right. My, from my, uh, uh, pizza. my iPhone app, iTunes app. So go subscribe to BEV Gold. It's $1.99. Uh, but this is what you got to really think hard about. And I'm going to go into depth of that a little bit here. you got a couple different types of podcasts. There's basically two, what I'm talking about here. And they're narrow Cheese would be wide because everybody in the planet on the planet likes cheese or potentially likes cheese. But it's hard of cheese. Right. And your broad universal topics are sports, politics, food, and some of the benefits of that, you have a much wider <laughs> audience. Uh, but you also have more competition. Now if you get out there and your cheese podcast is the best cheese podcast out there, you can hit it big. I mean, you really could, as opposed to narrower, more focused podcasts like mine. We have one on both ends. Steel City Resistance is a broad, universal 
this podcast, but bird's eye view is geared toward people from Pittsburgh, or more importantly, people that have left Pittsburgh and still yearn for it. I have a lot of listeners that live in Georgia, Florida, Germany, that listen just to hear our accents or hear hear us talk about about things that they remember when they were here. I mean, that's actually why I created the show. Uh, You're more specific, like maybe not cheese, maybe American cheese. And a more personal, like you, you see, like <coughs> listen, family newsletters. Exactly, where people would sit down and, and pound out a family newsletter once a year and say what everybody in their family's done. Now with the this media, you wow. can create a, a a video. This is what's going on in my family. This is what's happening in in my community. That kind of thing. And the choice you got, the decision that you have to make. Uh, I always like to say. You probably don't want to do a podcast about the Steelers. You can if you want, but there's 10,000 other ones out there already. And I'm not discouraging you from doing that. I'm just saying, if you want a successful podcast, you got to get some kind of a niche. You know, you got to, you can do one that's general. Just know that there's a lot of them out there. Yes, sir. Just the general question. What I'm I'm going through in my head is, I'm just trying to equate YouTube a podcast. YouTube can be a podcast. Yeah, you can, that's you, what I'm trying to get in my head. Do. How would you? You can do, definitely you speak do it. to that. Sure, uh, you can definitely how you do it. make that judgment. Uh, well, you don't have to make that judgment. You Could create you a file, and when you're sure. done, it's uploaded to YouTube. Absolutely, YouTube is a great distribution method because and what would you be the advantage? Well, I'm just trying. Which one? Why do you do podcast versus um, YouTube? Well, First YouTube's of all, it's audio. My, uh, mine's okay. a radio show. Right. It's audio, right? Uh, YouTube, correct me if I'm wrong, only lasts 10 minutes, right? You can only, 15. 15, 15 minutes. minutes. My show's an hour long. Ah, so you're limited on YouTube. On time. You're... Now, I do do video. We stream our shows. Mm-hmm. We live stream them on, on Ustream, not on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's just kind of secondary. My main distribution is an audio file at one of the aggregators. Right. You know, people subscribe to it or download it when they can or sync it on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk a little bit. Are we good on that? Yeah. yeah All right. So when you guys stream on Ustream, you're actually streaming like video? Yeah. yeah. You guys, okay. Do you like feel we're like, doing here now. We're streaming right, right, right now. Right. Do you and we'll like, do that during the show. Do you feel like you get a lot of listeners who are tuning in to that? A few. Not not hundreds, but a few. Okay. So when you say stream, it's out there right now. No, no, no. This, it, this it, is. This is. This is live. But while I'm doing the show live, it's out there. Plus, it's recorded on Ustream. I'm saying. So. Like no. you asked how Twitter helps. We'll hit it, throw it out on Twitter. Here's the link, getting ready to do a show. Click, there uh, we are live. So you could pro-